Cristiano Ronaldo is not only one of the most famous soccer players in the world, he is also one of the richest. The 33-year-old soccer player, who is a star of Spain's Real Madrid squad and also plays for Portugal's national team, has a huge net worth of $400 million and has been considered the world's top paid athlete for the last two years before boxer Floyd Mayweather dethroned him this year. Ronaldo is also the third highest paying athlete in terms of his $61 million salary and bonuses, as well as his $47 million in endorsements, according to Forbes. Ronaldo made headlines in July when he revealed that he was leaving Real Madrid to move to the Italian club Juventus, which is reportedly paying $131.5 million for a four-year contract. The deal breaks the previous Serie A league record set by the team two years ago when Juventus paid $99 million to the Italian club Napoli to play Gonzalo Higuain, according to the Associated Press. There's a lot of money coming for so many accomplishments and recognition, either the clubs he works for or the endorsements and sponsorships. Cristiano Ronaldo became the third highest paid athlete in 2018 behind Floyd Mayweather Jr. and his friend and opponent Lionel Messi. It means he's got a lot of cash left, and that is how he uses it. Today in this video, we will see how Cristiano Ronaldo spends his millions. Luxury cars. It's just sort of a football tradition. It's not really the fact that they prefer especially fast cars, but let's just agree that driving in a Renault Maison isn't that terrible. Cristiano is no exception to this rule driving the Lamborghini Aventador, the Rolls Royce, and the Maserati. He also mentioned owning a Porsche, a Mercedes, and a Bentley. Holidays in Paradise. Sure, soccer players are making a lot of money, and naturally, they need time to spend it. Despite having scored all those goals every season, Ronaldo wants time to relax and unwind, to enjoy his holidays all over the world. He made waves in Greece recently, leaving behind an impressive tip. Charitable Organizations Ronaldo has always been heavy on charitable contributions, constantly pouring vast sums of money into various causes, including the Children's Charity, Save the Children, and the Make-A-Wish Foundation. An underwear line. Underwear and sports stars appear to be of similar interest. Remember David Beckham's line? And Ronaldo is no different. He's an astute businessman besides being a professional athlete, and this move made a lot of sense. The business plan, which he didn't need to take, comes to life and is now going down a road of his own. Real Estate. Getting money is fine, making more money is better. So Ronaldo is investing in assets to make his considerable wealth expand even more. He resides in a lavish million dollar villa in London while also owning a luxurious apartment in Manhattan's Trump Towers and a soccer themed hotel in his native Madeira. A wax model. Ronaldo is said to have paid someone to make sure that the wax model he paid for had the right hairstyle. It was to make sure the model looked authentic and as similar to himself as possible. And obviously, it's not uncommon for people fortunate enough to deserve their own wax pattern. Private Jet No superstars or celebrities are complete without their own private jet. You need to fly in style and comfort while avoiding the crowds of fans who can drive you around any corner. Ronaldo is no different from that. His Gulfstream jet is estimated to have a value of $32 million, and that is just the plane. Add to that the cost of servicing and operating the aircraft. Meeting fellow stars. Good old networking. It can be hard to make friends sometimes when you're in a really special community of people, and that's what we mean by the super rich. People like to believe they're living a lavish lifestyle, and while that's real, it's not like they can go out and mingle in daily locations, which can be difficult. Alternatively, they need to hang out with elite groups so that they can chat. If only they don't have people asking for their photo every two minutes. A good example of that is when Ronaldo met Conor McGregor in Las Vegas, someone who is definitely on par with him in terms of star strength. New York City Apartment 
A few years ago, Cristiano splashed the cash and spent millions in a gold New York City Tower flat. Through its description, the tower through question has a certain high-profile tag, which created some controversy. This was a move that made sense to many, considering that New York City is a center for all sorts of big names. However, sadly, the facade name caused Ronaldo to attract a lot of criticism. The fact that CR7 was now synonymous with Donald rubbed a lot of people in the wrong direction, and it's not entirely hard to see why. Even getting that kind of view of one of the biggest cities in the world is hard to get through regardless of the specifics. New Boots If you have an exclusive life contract with Adidas, you can afford to try out some new boots on a relatively regular basis. Ronaldo is an icon in more respects than one, and one of the most interesting ways in which that is so comes from the fantastic world of football boots. Once Ronaldo is spotted with a new pair, they quickly become the newest hit attraction for fans and other players who want to be like CR7 in several respects. There's nothing wrong with that, though, so why don't you want to try to emulate his success? Expanding Empire When you have as much power as someone like Cristiano Ronaldo, you need to be able to test the waters when it comes to your global appeal. That's why the man himself has made frequent trips to hot spots like China and Japan, where he's considered one of the most successful people in the world, which, you know, is a reasonable assumption. These kinds of trips are important even though they don't really play professional football because they're all about the profile. Because we know his profile surpasses many, many in terms of how massively big he is, but that kind of thing never hurts. Fashion We're not sure if you've noticed this yet, but Cristiano is a pretty good-looking guy. It is, of course, something that allowed him to achieve the standards that few others have in the world of football off the pitch because not only does he have the marketability of David Beckham, but he's also a much better footballer. Sorry, Dave. Ronaldo just seems to be going for what he wants in fashion, whether the people think it's cool or not. He blurs the line beautifully by not going over the top in anything he wears, and although you might not be in trend, you have to respect him at some point. Watch. Being able to afford a good watch for yourself is a sign that you did everything right, but more often than not, it's very pricey. Doesn't mean you're not going to splash the cash if you have it, though, because as seen above, they can look amazing in just about any outfit. Ronaldo seems to be moving more towards Jacob and company, as a company, and we don't have any problems with that. We believe that this deal of sorts brings him to some fun places, whether it's an invitation to an event or just a photo shoot. Haircuts well, he may not have had as many serious adjustments to his hair as David Beckham did back in the day, Cristiano has definitely left fans wondering what kind of hairstyle he's going to wear next. Again, this kind of thing is really important to him as he tries to build an individual for himself, particularly in the latter stages of his career. People know and understand that Ronaldo is someone who likes to keep things interesting, and they're going to try to imitate his footsteps if only to tell their mates that they have a CR7 look. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like and share button. And for more videos, subscribe to our channel.